I'm so tap tap. Let's play Idle Apocalypse. No time for chat. We've got a mission. Is it the apocalypse? I bet it is. Free the lost idols and destroy the world. Got it. Is, do I have sound? There's the sound. Oh, that's a bit loud. Poop that back down a bit. There we go. So, this looks neat, cute, and pixely. And it's, you know. I figured I'd try out so, uh, doing some more um, quick looks again. It's been a little bit too long. Thank you for the slow claps. Well, by the way, I wanted to, I was looking through the app store and like the, the the advertisement text for some of these games. Variety of contents that can't be missed. I mean, what's so great about your game? The, the what what's so great about the contents? There's a variety of them. Uh, what's so various about them? Uh, the the contents. You know, I mean, look, there's at least four contents right here. They can't be missed. They're right on your screen right now. You can't miss those. I, I'm baffled by like, you know, <laughs> million dollar budget games. Should we, should we like get an intern that speaks the language that we're trying to sell our game in? Nah, I don't think that's necessary. I don't think we need an editor. That'd be stupid. Anyway, let's build a mud farm. Okay. Not what I had in mind when built like satanic Illuminati apocalypse, but okay. Goblins are made out of dirt. Lore updated. Goblins are the weakest goblins, but they'll do for now. We'll fight our enemies and drop resources. Okay. Oh, is there badums? There's bad there's bad guys? <laughs> oh, so it's like, um I bet this is inspired by uh, this game called um The Badman series or No Heroes Allowed, I guess it's called these days. <laughs> um like, three different name changes in that series, but No Heroes Allowed, I guess, is the, the canon name now. Um, this seems like an idle version of that. I bet it's a lot easier than that one. Why is it screen flashing? Okay. So you try to fight the Badums. Turn to the mud farm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, upgrade. Okay. Why, why, is, why, why must you flicker? Why, why is life pain? Why is life so suck? Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start ignoring this tutorial. And the 15 slime, build the hatchery at the top of the tower. Drop by gremlins at the, why is it doing that? Vomits, interesting. Why is it, hold on. All right, here's hoping we've solved the flicker problem. Yeah, I was talking with somebody on, um, on uh, Reddit and I, I don't think some people realize that like idle games, they're meant to be idle. You know? Slime, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I don't think it's good for an idle game to focus too much on like, just clicking the screen a bunch and like, bah, 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 bah. I gotta tap, you gotta tap a billion times per second. You gotta get arthritis, gotta arthritis fast. No, it, it's, you know, um, the, the best kind of idle games, they're idle, you know? Um, Almost a Hero does that very well. Uh, usually these kind of games you start out by clicking a lot. This game doesn't even start you out like that. This game doesn't start- I don't think clicking does anything. Build the generator at the top of the tower. See, that's just- this, what is bag? Here's all our stores, don't steal anything. Okay. Um... Yeah, like, cookie clicker and stuff, like, it starts out clicking a lot, but then late game clicking usually doesn't do, like, basically anything, and, like, it's all automated. That's the kind of the whole point, is the kind of idle progress. We're trying a new spell. Dark Fist. Ah, oh, yes. Dark Fist. How, how use Dark Fist? Ah, uh, that's very literal. Okay. Good guys is kill. How kill? Oh, wait, good guys is not kill. They just keep reviving, don't they? I get it. Parker. Parker. My, my cat is like standing on my shoulder right now. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Um, do I have enough hides? Do I have, how, how do I? What do you mean? How? Build the generator on the top of the tower. How many hides? Do I have enough hides? I have eleven hides. I don't. I don't fully understand why I can't do the thing. Build the generator at the. Oh, oh, at the bottom. Oh, I can't read. Sorry. <laughs> I thought it would be at the top, like the other ones. Generator 1, boost creature spawn rate. Oh, so we build down, too. I would always screw up in Sim Tower, because I would like... I loved building down, but there's like... 
And there's only so much space down there and certain things have to be built there and can't be removed, which I think is really dumb design. Love some tower, but there's certain things that make, um, tap the screen to charge up the gener- oh no. I just- <laughs> I was just praising you for not doing the clicking a lot thing. I guess as long as it's like a, a plus thing, like a, a permanent gain. You know what? I can be sneaky. Because I have what is called a macro recorder. I use Nox Player to play my game, so... Just gonna... Oh, wow! Wow, I'm clicking so fast, guys! Wow, I, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna break all my finger joints! Oh. <laughs> oh, it's like... It, it caps. Okay. Honestly, this is for the best, because that limits my ability to cheat and... It means you don't have to, like, tap a billion times every second to, like, absolutely maximize your, you know, capacity for stuff. So I gotta kill some heroes, too. Okay. So it's kind of a mix of, like, the build em up idle games and the fight em up idle games. Like, sometimes there'll be, like, bosses and stuff you gotta fight, like, um... Almost a hero I mentioned earlier, um... Is, like, an RPG kind of, kind of one where you fight stuff. Looty RPG Clicker? I never did a video of that, did I? I kind of like that one. I find it kind of gross that it has, like, $20 paid skins, like, once a week. But I've seen even more Whaley games, which is not exactly a positive. <laughs> but, alright, I think I have enough stuff for three coins from Champions to build the Arboretum. Trees. The most fierce enemies. Every... Every hero fears trees. Some floors produce resources directly rather than creatures. Oh. I read and produce this plant material. It's chopping down that Christmas tree. Did you know that um, real Christmas trees are actually more environmentally friendly um, under most circumstances than uh, um, than fake trees? Because fake trees, I think the, the logic was the, or the, the, the math was like, you have to keep a fake tree for like 10 years or more before it starts being more environmentally friendly. Because, did you know trees are a renewable resource? Shocking, I know, but yeah. Turns out sustainably harvested trees are very, well, sustainable. Head back to the mud farm. Floors can be upgraded, okay. Upgrade the thinger. Gremlin power up, and I assume at some point, he was talking about goblins. Orc mage, ooh. Nine, I need nine muds. Okay, I got muds. Fantastic orc mages, okay. Different resource. Only, each floor can only produce one creature at a time, okay. Okay, I skipped one of the few tutorial things that would actually was trying to help me. <laughs> how do I how do I switch? Uh, no. Need a faster way to get about when I take the elevator. Oh, hey, cool. That'll come in handy later. Probably not yet. What is this? Oh, it's like above ground and below ground. Okay. Start pursuing orc me. What does this do? Be dedicated. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, daily rewards thing, you gotta have these in your mobile games. For hashtag retention. Oh, achievement unlocked for gambling, huzzah. 15 units, 15 electricities. What is this? Oh, I got a thing. Oh, achievement system. You also gotta have these. Standard, standard mobile stuff. Um, no, for real though, how do I change? How do I. Produce ogre upgrade. No, 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 no. There's, there's so few buttons. There's so few things that could be buttons. Start producing orc mages. But creature farm. You would think clicking the the, the button of the creature drag the. Oh, oh, oh! You drag. Oh, oh! I see. Okay, that makes more sense. I figured it would all be on one screen. So I so creatures that keep progressing. Okay. So he's got to drop different things. So you got to be kind of mindful what you create. Oh, and these guys have a cost, too. Hmm. But they make mud. My, my Arboretum, for some reason, makes mud. Oh, no, that's roots. Excuse me. Covered in mud, though. Close enough. Alright, what do I need to build next? Drop point. So I cannot... Oh, so we have, like, choices at some point. I need 15 cracked oil, so I just need to create a bunch of these things. Is this thing still, like... How long does this take? 
No, no, I don't want to build things. Go away. How do I, like, cancel it? No, no I don't want to build it anymore. Go away. <laughs> oh, there we go. Creature spawns at all. Okay, I see. So it takes an hour and a half. Alright. Kind of reminds me of, um, bum 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 bum. There's a mechanic like that in... Oh man, what's it called? The Dick Station! That was really cool! If you want to completely free-to-play, um... No bullcrap, no slow gameplay, uh, idle game. Dig Station is like a few hours long and um, just really, wow, okay. I can make a lot of these, huh? Um, just really cool and not like n naggy and needy. How does this thing work? Oh, I need hides. Goblet. Dropped by champions. All right, how are we doing with the champions here? Punch. Just only drop one coin. Do I like? Can I like upgrade? Oh, one stage, three stages, ten stages. Stage eight. Oh, so it's like every X number of things. I got it. Yeah, and you kill heroes faster the more things you get, of course. So still waiting on cracked orbs. I don't think I can upgrade my stuff. My gobos, can I do so? No, I still need more hides. Oh, okay. crap. I like the little dialogue of the little cultists. I'm sure their bite is worse than their venom. It's not? <laughs> yeah, the little, um, just has a little personality to it. I really like, um, there's a lot of idle games in the world. Uh, but, um,. <laughs> The, the personality is really w w what makes me interested in stuff, and that's what I really thought this... Um, this looked really cute. Look at Jeff. He's giving some good inspirational uh, words to the, uh, to the troops. Oh, we got these things. Rings from the champions, okay. Hmm. So what, what kind of options we got here? Uh, let's see, let's, let's just... Music and things. Oh, is there a friend system? Oh, no, that's the, uh, that's the credits. Hey, credits. How you doing? Alright. What's this? Oh, that's feedback. Or Oh, no, that's the patch notes. Oh, cool! I like when there's easy access to patch notes and stuff. Xmas shop is here. Candy canes and presents. <laughs> Mall Santa. Okay. To access the shop, maybe he's gone through two ap apocalypses. Oh, I'm not gonna make it in time. That's probably that's probably the uh, the rejuvenation or the the rejuvenation the uh, um, prestige mechanic. These all kind of have. Oh, cloud save. Yes, definitely cloud save. Protect your data. Oh, why is that not on by default? I guess it says it's beta, but like, come on. This is one thing I never play mobile games for long unless they have a uh, cloud save. So glad that's there. Beta or not. All right, we should be able to make this yet. No, soon. All right, we'll, we'll make one more. Whom do you serve? Suduman, Suduman. I'm sure that's a reference, but I'm sure eggs. There's the spiders come from eggs quite like that. I don't know if they leave like just big old bird eggs, but I'll allow it. All right, we'll make one more building here. Magical, but you gotta have a skull on your bookcase. You never notice that? It's just, it just really ties the room together. All right, what would we got here? Book, magic tome, made in the magic workshop. What uncontrollable evil have you mastered? A ham sandwich. That's a pretty controllable evil. I just married a lot of you. I love the little dialogue. That's really cute. Uh, what do books do though? Do I just need them? TV, you must watch T- oh, it's an ad system to get things. Unlock massive bonus by watching adverts. It's not like I'm asking for your soul or anything, haha. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Vines. Upgrade the arboretum to start producing this. Okay. Oh, I like that it tells you how you can get a thing too, by the way. That's something that um, I always really appreciate. This game seems to have pretty- out of order. Oh! Oh, it leaves you a little thing when you're- I, I need to make, uh, goblins again. Gremlins. Whichever they are. Um, so I can get more of this stuff. 
They seem to have paid a lot of attention to UI in this game, which... After playing, uh, I hate to generalize and stuff. Oh, I think my generator's slowing down. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. Um, I hate to generalize, but I feel like Western devs pay a lot more attention to user experience and stuff. They just always feel way ahead in that department. Uh, I think the bigger companies, like Sony, does a lot of UX work. Um, maybe not quite as much as Microsoft, but uh, I, just, I just feel like even... Um, you know, this seems to be pretty short credits here. I guess that would... Let me bring that up again. Published by Iron Horse Games. I think this would qualify as an indie game, actually. Um, I, uh, I play some, like, I've been playing, like, you know, Food Fantasy Abyssrium. Um, re really rough UI, really rough support, and just, you don't really feel as much care, like, towards the player, and that's a shame. You, you can definitely feel when a game's made with love that- Oh! Oh, I need orbs. Oh, I, I, I see. You gotta kinda balance your stuff. I wonder if you could at some point make two of the same thing? Or like two different, um, produce two things at once? Maybe not. But yeah, um... I just, I just really do appreciate being able to... Oh, and it shows you what stuff's being produced while you're watching this thing. That's nice. Just a game that's designed to be played, you know? You're supposed to have fun and enjoy it, and the devs kind of want you to actually enjoy it instead of just being like, Hey, here's this. Don't ask for anything different. If you don't like my game, don't play it. I, I, I've heard that from some players. Like, if you don't like it, don't play it. And it's like... But I like it, but I want it be, to be even better. And I think that's, that's... I think you're a real fan if you want a game to improve. If you'd never want it to change, that's... It's not really... That's just being like a fanboy. That's just kind of like... You know... That's more of a cult than like enjoying a thing. Because like, if you enjoy a thing, you'd want an even better version of that thing, wouldn't you? And that's what I want. And as a designer, I'm getting kind of off topic here, but... As a designer... If nobody told me if my things were bad, I would feel terrible if, like, people, like, I make, uh, websites, I make, um, applications and stuff. If I had, like, glaring flaws and I could have helped people, like, enjoy my stuff more, or use, you know, the stuff that I create and design, uh, I would feel terrible if people were just having a horrible time and just, like, didn't want to tell me. Because they thought I would, like, they would hurt my feelings. My poor feelings. Like, come on. That is Idle Apocalypse. That looks pretty neat. I'm Sir Tap Tap, and if you want to see more cool little indie games, more little idle games, or whatever I happen to be playing, remember to subscribe and uh, maybe leave a comment if you have something to say. Just don't say first. I will. I will boot your patootie out on the highway if you say first. First.